Hi guys, how are you today? Today I found this question. This guy asking if we can change the material of Niagara in runtime. This question is old and nobody answered because this is not solved question because maybe that was not available that time. But it's 2024 and we have Unreal Engine 5.4. So in that we have already this. So you can see it has a material if I play. It has a, this material. If I left mouse button, it's changing the material. If I'm releasing, it has different material. So I can just switch between these two material by just left mouse button. So this is we can do. And let's start this tutorial how we can do that. Let's start this. So in this empty folder, I'll just create a new Niagara and just call it Apex. Inside it, let's take a new emitter and I'll take the fountain. And let's just take the mesh. So to be visible properly. So I'll just take a mesh and I'll just take the cube. This one meter cube. Right. So we have this and let it compile. I think it's not compiled yet. Yeah. So now if I drag it into the viewport, we have this cube, right? I can just increase the velocity a little more. And also let's make the size random. One and one five. So we have these cubes and yeah, of course we can apply a material here. So I'll just take override material and whatever I have, I can apply anything. Let's say this green one and they should all turn into green. Yeah. Depending on that material, let me check one more different kind of material. Let's just take this one. So it applied that thing. Okay. But how to change that in runtime through blueprint or anything? So basically, it's very easy. You have to just go to user parameters here and make a new parameter, call it material interface. You can name it anything like my material, anything you can call. And after this, uh, let it just, I just hit the enter. Oh, my Unreal is just freeze. Yeah. So after this, you have to just go here and here after using this override material, there's a user parameter binding. You have to bind it with that parameter and that's it. And after that, the save and here, if you select your uh, Niagara, here you will see that parameter that shows all material in your project and you can change from here. So we have changed it. And if I duplicate this, I can actually the material is not. Yeah. So I will now change other material on this. Let's say I'll just take this one back. So this is a single effect and we are changing material. So if you want to change it in your gameplay, you can also do that. Like we have this particle system here and let's call a blueprint. You can create class blueprint or if you want to use a, a level blueprint, you can use like I'm doing. After selecting it, right click and take a reference of this, this effect and then take the Niagara component and after this you have to take Niagara variable and you will find variable material you'll find this okay so what I want I want on my left mouse button when I click it should give you a merge material and you have to just copy the same name. So I'll just rename this and copy and paste this here. So if I'm pressing the left mouse button, I want some material. Let me check this material. Let's say this. This water shader material. Good. And when I release that, I want something different. So I'll just copy and paste. Connect this here, connect this here, and I'll just change the material to something else. So let me choose a cool material. Let's say I'll just take this 
maybe these like this okay ground material so if i now play and have a left mouse click you can see it's changing but it's actually <laughs> let it prepare shaders okay so i'll show you after sh prepare shader shader has now compiled and you can see when i'm left mouse button pressing i have this water shader and when i'm releasing i have this something new material so i can change i can switch between these two material just by clicking with my mouse so this is how you can do that